Are you thinking of owning your dream homes? EGA Investment is here for you. Secure our quality bungalows with two, three, or four bedrooms. Or our story building, three or four to five bedrooms at very affordable prices with flexible payment plans. At our Sanyang Sea View Estate, where you can enjoy the cool breeze with modern infrastructure such as the roads, covered drainage system, modern electrification with street lights, gated entrance with security posts, and social amenities such as gas station, shopping mall, medical clinic, park, schools, children daycare, and a lot more. Our dedicated team of professionals will keep the estate clean at all times, provide security and patrol team within the estate premises, install latest technologies such as CCTV, Wi-Fi, home network installation, sonar panel, and power backup system. Also, check out for our additional home facilities and interior design service, such as premium tiling, wall plaster, home landscape, fingerprint home lock, and a lot more. Visit our office at Senegambia Kololi Highway and get a free site visit tour or contact us on 4464-838. WhatsApp us on 3259-220 or you can visit our Facebook page or Instagram on EJ Investments. EJ Investments, we are first in properties. Remind him that the last time he sent the money, it was not enough to buy all the provisions. Oh, sorry, I forgot to tell him. Are you guys talking about money transfer to buy provisions? Yes. yes. But don't you know about Baluo? 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 What is Baluo? Baluo is a service that your son can use to send provisions directly to you guys from the shop. And you don't have to worry about exchange rates. Tell me how Baluo works. It's very simple. Just log on to baluo.com and shop or download the app on your phone. You can shop on the website or using the app to buy online basic products for your family and friends. With Baluo, you decide what your money is spent on. Your money, your choice. Buy online products for your family and friends in the Gambia, Senegal, Nigeria or Mali. Baluo, better than sending money.
لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين اللهم إنا نسألك علما نافعا ورزقا طيبا وعملا متقبلا اللهم عافنا في أبداننا وعافنا في أبصارنا وعافنا في أسماعنا اللهم إنا نسألك العفو والعافية اللهم إنا نسألك العفو والعافية في ديننا ودنيانا وأهلنا ومالنا اللهم استر عوراتنا اللهم احفظنا من بين أيدينا ومن خلفنا وعن يميننا وعن شمالنا ومن فوقنا ونعوذ بك أن أختال من تحتنا اللهم عالم الغيب والشهادة فاطر السماوات والأرض رب كل شيء ومليكه نشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت اللهم لا تدع لنا ذنبا إلا غفرته ولا هما إلا فرجته ولا مريضا إلا شفيته ولا حاجة من حوائج الدنيا والآخرة إلا قديتها برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم اصلح ذات بيننا وألف بين قلوبنا واهدنا سبل السلام ونجنا من الظلمات إلى النور وجنبنا الفواحش وما ظهر منها وما بطن اللهم بارك لنا في أسماعنا وأبصارنا وأزواجنا وذرياتنا وتب علينا إن الرحيم اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم وبارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد وصلى الله على نبينا محمد وسلم تسليمه سبحان ربك رب العزة أما يصفون والسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين We thank you very much for an introduced prayers and may we now invite the Reverend Father James Bowie to deliver this We pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Gracious and eternal Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your compassion. We thank you for this nation, the Gambia. We thank you for His Excellency, the President, Adam Obaro, and the government, and all ministers. We thank you for this day. We thank you for the people of Japan. As we all gather this morning here to witness the handing over of tractors, we commit this ceremony into your hands. We pray for the people of Japan that their brotherly love towards our nation we continue to be stronger day by day. We continue to come in this nation, the Gambia, as we approach elections. We pray for a peaceful elections. We commit this nation. We commit the politicians into your hands. We pray that all will go well.
this I ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. His Excellency, the President of the Republic of the Gambia, Mr. Adam Abaro, Honorable Ministers here present, Speaker of the National Assembly and members of the National Assembly, members of the Consular and Diplomatic Corps, Secretary General and Head of the Civil Service, Permanent Secretaries and Senior Government Officials, Governor of West Coast Region, Sefolu and Alcaro, representatives of farmer organizations and youth groups, the media, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, all protocols respectfully observed. It is with great pleasure that we invite you here today on this auspicious day of the launching of the mechanization program of the Ministry of Agriculture. The tools, spare parts, 50 tractors, 50 tractors and accessories, implements and maintenance vehicles are being launched today. His Excellency, the President of the country, having seen the plight of the farmers, especially women farmers, and the pleas from the farmers, tasked the Minister of Agriculture to develop a plan to alleviate the hardships being faced by the farmers, the farming community in the critical operations of the crop, cropping cycle, land preparation, plowing, harvesting, threshing, milling, etc. Under the able leadership of our minister, Honorable Armin Fabri, the ministry formulated a mechanization plan and floated it with various farms. The outcome of this exercise was the selection of a Gambian-owned company, General Procurement Services, uh, with the, under the management of Mr. Lamin Seidi, Seidi Khan, who with TechPro Gambia Limited won the contract and supplied this machinery today that we are launching. Your Excellency, with your support and guidance, our minister and the staff of the, the Ministry of Agriculture are ready and able to deliver the great vision you have for the sector and the farmers of this country. With those few introductory words, Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, today's program will have the Governor of West Coast Region give the welcome remarks to be followed by a statement by the Ambassador of Japan to the Gambia via video, statements by the Minister of, Minister of Agriculture, and a vote of thanks by the CEO of Maruo Farm, Mr. Musa Dabo, and will culminate, culminate in, with the launching by His Excellency the President. On that note, allow me your Excellency, to invite the Governor of the West, West Coast Region, Mr. Lamin Sane, to give us his welcome remarks. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, Master of Ceremony, PS Agriculture. Your Excellency, Honorable Adam Abaro, President of the Republic of the Gambia, Secretary General and Head of Civil Service, Honorable Cabinet Ministers, let me single out the Lady of the Day, Honorable Amin Fabri, Minister of Agriculture, for a job well done. Permanent Secretaries, Southern Year, Government Spokesperson, Graham Sankare, our partners from the World Bank and the European Union, Ambassadors present this morning, Service Chiefs, Chairman of the Canada Council, Senior Government Officials, Regional Chairman, Lani Miyata, MPP, Distinguished Ladies and Gentlemen, Local Authorities, I extend my greetings to you all. Today marks another milestone in the history of our great country, the Gambia, on our road for transmodic agriculture. I am so delighted to witness this historic making event. The official launching of 50 tractors and accessories under the KR Force 
to support on the, Gam uh, on the privileged Gambian farmers through the provision of access to mechanization by this village and Sydney is a commendable move. This resonates with the overarching objective of the project that is to reduce drug use, create youth employment, and provide opportunities to the private sector participation. It will also increase crop production and productivity, improve food nutrition and security, as well as increase household income and reduce poverty through sustainable land preparation. Thus, manifesting the concern of the government in answering for the calls of the farmers during the Meet the People's Tour, whose contributions towards the GDP is great. Mr. President, we are saying thank you very much for coming to the aid of the Gambian farmers. Farming has ever been the strong pillar of the people of this country, especially the rural communities and the women. But the production level is very low due to underpinned circumstances that are beyond imagination. Mechanization of agriculture will solely add a lot of impetus on the production scale and food security and equally boost agricultural commercialization. This is this, ladies and gentlemen, apart from, apart from welcoming everybody to this great unique ceremony, which I have asked to do, I want to remind everybody, especially the people of my region, that we cannot do away with farming. If you want to be, or if you want to be ambassadors of our own destiny, therefore, you should be very careful of converting all our farmlands to residential settlements due to commercialization. Development has to take place, and land use is key to that. If we want to combat hunger, we must control our land, as it is a static commodity, very valuable. We have seen a lot of distance emerging from communities, especially during the farming season. It is worth to remind everyone that there are laws governing land administration and management in the country. Therefore, it would be wrong for people to take the laws into their own hands without following the due process. This will not be accepted anymore in this region. The country has to move towards self-food sufficiency as soon as possible. Mr. Chairman, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, on that note, I welcome all and sundry for this great occasion and will take this opportunity to remind all legible citizens of the region to go and acquire a voter squad before the end of the registration. I thank you for, for your attention. God bless the Gambia. God bless our presidency. Thank you very much. On that note, allow me to now invite my own honorable minister, the honorable minister of agriculture, Madam Ami Tabo. His Excellency, the President of the Republic of the Gambia, Mr. Adam Mabaro. My colleague ministers present here. Members of the Diplomatic Corps. Representatives of the UN system. Secretary General and Head of Civil Service, Secretary to the Cabinet, Permanent Secretaries and Deputy Permanent Secretary present here, our host Governor of West Coast Region and the Chairperson of Brikama Area Council, the Chiefs and the Ad Carlos, the National Assembly Member of Busumbala Constituency, <laughs> respective project coordinators, Director General, Senior Staff of Ministry of Agriculture present here, representative of non state actors, friends of the media, all farmer organizations. I said a big good morning to you all.
His Excellency, the President of the Republic of the Gambia, please allow me to extend my warmest greetings to His Excellency, Ambassador of Japan. Due to his official engagements, he could not be here with us to grace this launching ceremony of the KR2 procured state of art tractors to honor privileged Gambian farmers. The launching ceremony of the Moinidan Agriculture Instrument is well in line with our sector transformative agenda of modernizing agriculture as enshrined in the National Development Plan 2018-2021 are reflected into the second generation of Gambian National Agricultural Investment Plan Food and Nutrition Security, normally known as Denied 2. His Excellency, I wish to seize up this opportunity to inform you that my ministry under your able leadership has completed various policies and strategies of which this mechanization approach is ample. Though these structures we are launching today will no doubt help to increase production and the productivity of crops value chain, more importantly, improve food security, increase income, though, and reduce drudgery of our rural youths and women farmers. It will also create a space of private sector participation in the sector as created employment opportunities for new enterprises. Therefore, Your Excellency, be rest assured that any Japanese yen or United States, the United States dollars or Gambian dollars invested to procure these items we are launching today will not only be the targeted beneficiaries, but will reflect into improving their crop production and productivity and enhance their livelihood. Your Excellency, it is not enough to ensure that every single cent invested to procure these tractors and their accessories is enough, but to ensure that a sustainability plan coupled with a sound business model where the private sector takes a center stage is put in place thereafter. This business model is premised on the lesson learned from previous agricultural projects, where equipment and the materials procured and distributed to the farmers groups only last for a short duration and in most cases, do not even serve its useful life span before or after project close. In some instances, there are not sustainable due or mismanagement and the free ride syndrome, which affects majority of development projects that target groups and the communities. In the business plan development by my Ministry of Agriculture, will create employment in the communities as well as the private sector based on the following listed criteria. Ten out of the 50 tractors will be leased to the private sector to provide services to groups and individuals in a cost recovery modality. The rest will be given to a new entrepreneur and potential master farmers residing within the village. He or she must be willing to provide services to the communities and maintain regular maintenance of the machine. The individual may or may not be a member of the group, but must be a member of the group village. He or she can be the operator or can identify an operator who will be trained by the experts. A memorandum of understanding and or a contract agreement will be developed, review, and signed between the private entrepreneur, individual, and the sector. This is to ensure equitable beneficiary 
between the violent entrepreneur, individual, and the sector. The, the regional agricultural directors, the village alcalos, and the VDC of the village will be the principal winners signatories. The revenue derived from the service provided by the private entrepreneur, individual, will be shared into three parts as follows. 30% of the revenue generated goes to the youth entrepreneur, who is the operator of the tractor as salary. 15% goes to the revolving funds, that's the government. 20% is the save for the running costs and the maintenance of the equipment. His Excellency, I want to inform this August gathering that the tractors and all the accessories are procured by our Gambia, and this will strengthen our local procurement capacity. Finally, Master of Ceremony, please allow me to thank our able president, His Excellency President Adam Abaro, for his trust that stood on me and support according to my ministry, which is really needing positive results. So His Excellency, thank you very much for appointing me on this important position whereby all our Gambians, our rural people, where they drive their livelihood. And I'm also telling you that the sky is the limit. This is just a start. On this front, Master of Ceremony, please allow me to convey my heartfelt greetings and gratitude to my colleague ministers. I say that we thank you for gracing this occasion and also supporting me. And also His Excellency, the Ambassador of Japan, is ready to support us and this support will continue. Before I conclude, I want to extend my sincere gratitude to the staff of the Minister of Agriculture through my able permanent secretary, Mr. Asam Jalo. And also, I will extend my gratitude to my former permanent secretary, Mr. Mbaijama, and in particular, the Central Project Coordinating Unit. The Director of Central Project Community Unit, Mr. Abulai Ture, and all the staff of CDCU, I said a big thank you to you for developing this proposal, this very important proposal, so that the Japanese Embassy can approve it. So I thank you all for your kind attention. His Excellency, Memorial Control and
honorable ministers, all the ambassadors present here today, and all other government officials. We have assembled here today for the inauguration of the Post Ceremony of the 50 State of the Air Charters from the government of Japan. The public-private partnership management of this equipment with Maru Farms was the outcome of a very competitive bidding process. In February, the President instructed the deployment of terrible structures under the PPP arrangement. And in just three months, uh, this is what the 10 tractors were able to do. 2,000 hectares of rice farm were cultivated, benefiting about 4,500 rural farmers with about 75% women. 17 youths, three girls, and four mechanics are directly employed to oversee the operation of the state-of-the-art equipment. Even with the reduced plowing service fee as a COVID-19 package directed by our Honorable Minister, the tractors brought in about $2 million for sustainability in three months. And most of all, no tractor services were hired from Senegal this time. Now, with the whole fleet deployed, rains already here, our expectation is that in the next three months, 20,000 hectares of land can be cultivated for both upland and lowland, reaching about an estimated 45,000 Gambian families. At this juncture, I will take the opportunity to bring awareness to the ultimate beneficiaries who are the Gambian families. Farmers um, normally will call in for service through their community leaders, then Maro team will send in a team for assessment, will advise them on the fee payment according to their land size. Then their community leader will collect all payments and deposit them at the bank. So we at Maro use that bank receipt to fulfill those orders. So there is no cash transfer to Maro Park. Now, let me move to the duty and trusted to me. On behalf of the private sector and Gambian farmers, it is my privilege to propose a vote of thanks on this occasion. To Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of the Gambia, Mr. Adama Barrow, Please accept this bundle from us as a symbol of appreciation for the foresight. You and your team have in moving this important sector forward. by the President has already started yielding benefits. In fact, as we speak, harvesting is going on as a result of the land preparation done by the same tractors. And this is an evidence here, um, so um, there will be not much room for agreement as far as this is concerned.
to the Honorable Minister of Agriculture, as a professional and practicing agriculturalist, you never mind the late calls, and thank you for being responsive to the needs of your farmers. Your visits are motivating, and we hope to see you more. Um, in fact, it will be good that you be part of the harvesting, because for the next month, it's all going to be harvesting. Thank you. And uh, we would never have recorded this day in history if we were not for the benevolence of our good friends, the Japanese government. Mr. Ambassador, even though you are not here, um, there, is, there is already an output of your kind gesture from Jan Alipacha, Rice Belt of the Gambia. Honorable Minister, I have a 25 kilo bag for the Japanese Ambassador, and I will hand that over to you for onward transmission. The tractors will go a long way in helping Gambia achieve the most needed food security and economic empowerment for the poor. I would also like to, like to extend our heartfelt appreciation to Honorable C. Cater of Trade and his project team for their initiative this year. The three million dollars Industry loan to the farmers for plowing services has gone a long way in helping us meet the targets. <laughs> to the various project managers, we can explore the full potential of mechanization with improvements in sustainable land and water management. And thank you for those of you who have already taken steps in this direction. To Honorable Abbasanya, I'm not so, so if he's here, our regional governor in Sierra, it would have been hard to achieve anything without his personal involvement. Thank you, Governor Sanya. And to my hardworking team at Maru, uh, this is a trust and we cannot fail. Joe, Philly, our, you are all heroes. Thank you. Finally, we are grateful to the whole agriculture ministry and the support staff. I believe there is a path if we continue to coordinate better and on time. We can put the Gambia's position on the world map more prominent. Thank you all for this opportunity. Before the launching, we will want to have a musical interlude. So I will invite Janet Kunda to give us some entertainment. Thank you very much.
Honorable Ministers, National Assembly Members, Partners, Members of the Diplomatic and Council of Hall, Senior Government Officials, Local Government Authorities, Venerable Religious Leaders, Members of the Media, Distinguished Ladies and Gentlemen, It is my singular pleasure to preside over the launching ceremony of the KR2 State of the Art Tractors and Accessories exhibited here. For making this occasion a reality, my profound thanks go to the people of Japan and to His Excellency, the Ambassador of Japan, Tony Gambia resident in Senegal. Mr. Arai Tatsu, although he is not present in person due to the pandemic, we are thankful to him for his recorded speech. I have noted with appreciation that in it, he has affirmed his government's commitment to supporting our agricultural development agenda. The handing over ceremony of these much needed agricultural vehicles and equipment is quite timely. Noting that the agriculture sector has embarked upon a transformation program for modernizing and mechanizing crop and livestock production and processing. This is exclusively captured in the National Development Plan and reflected in the second generation Gambia National Agriculture Investment Plan.
food and security, food and nutrition security. Ladies and gentlemen, KR was pioneered as a rural development study targeting developing countries. It focuses on commercializing agriculture to effectively enhance production and productivity, specifically targeting underprivileged farmers. With the KR2, it is implemented in the form of selling quality Japanese rice at a subsidized price for underprivileged Gambian farmers. The proceeds are deposited in a special account at the Central Bank of the Gambia and invested in relevant short or medium term projects to boost the production and productivity levels of crops and livestock value chains. More importantly, these projects seek to improve food security, uplift income status, and reduce hardship for rural women farmers. In my government's drive to achieve these objectives, a mechanization plan was formulated by the agriculture sector, those supported by our friends, the government of Japan. 50 tractors and accessories we are procured. Your Excellency, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, as part of the project, I have noted the sustainability plan developed in the form of a business model with the private sector taking center stage. Wisely, it is premised on lessons learned from previous agricultural projects in which equipment and materials record are distributed to farmer groups, served for a shorter while than expected. In most cases, this was due, this was due to inappropriate use and mismanagement. This time around, a public-private partnership model has been developed, through which 20 tractors will be allocated to and managed by a competent private individual. The remaining 30 will be operated and managed initially using the plowing team model. In this model, youth will be employed and trained to operate the tractors and provide services such as plowing, sowing and harvesting to the farming communities across the country. In order that the services are readily accessible, the signature service centers will be established in each region where tractors and accessories will be stationed. Hopefully, in the future, more competent private players will be invited and a fleet of tractors put under their management. These aside, delegated maintenance teams of the Agricultural Union Service Unit and regional mechanics with mobile maintenance units will ensure proper usage and maintenance of the machines. Ladies and gentlemen, to pilot this concept, in February of this year, 10 tractors and accessories were allocated to Maro engineering based on a memorandum of understanding. The agreement provides higher services for farmers in the Central River region. I am pleased to say that within the span of two months, from March 2nd to May 2nd, a total surface area of 1,700 hectares were cultivated in the region. It is important to note further that not only did the government give loans to farmers for plowing services, but also reduced the cost by 30%. Appreciatively, 
the MOU operations and maintenance arrangements has yielded over 1.7 million within these two months, with much efficiency and customer satisfaction. The profits realized will be utilized to procure more equipment to give organized youth cooperatives and other private players matching grants or loan models. Ladies and gentlemen, I invite all stakeholders to work together amicably for the successful implementation of this initiative. In fact, this applies to all development projects and programs because government projects are for the people. They should be safeguarded by the citizens themselves. I thank everyone present for attending this ceremony. And I commend the agriculture sector personnel for their laudable efforts. My government will continue to give the sector the focus and investments it deserves. With these remarks, it is my pleasure to officially hand over the KR2 tractors and accessories for use countrywide. I thank you for your kind attention. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Me yundum saate ola alkalo ana alma mombe kondom. Me yundum ola governo. Ani deputy governo ana ala do kula be 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 kondom. Me area council chairman ana mbi jak. Ma kondom na mbi national assembly member. Ma kondom na. Bi kete ni kondi ani kuba di kotenge. Kamu runa new yundu, ningam yang kau dikaca. Ngafu dulu aja mah barang bawa fula kau tengke. Ngadiamu lah fula ya diamu, dokula le kontinu dokul. Jika tidak ingin aku, dokoh dokoh oleh kepanggau sambanya itu, anda dokoh dokoh oleh begabnya sambanya. Kabinet token nombangku kono 2020, nombangku mul kacat, anda besok tidak ingin aku, purgabnya itu hanya itu. Fungan na sembo ke senol, senol kula ni imbang kote tano la nyato. Anu nga mwon promise le kafoko, mbe mbulo du na senol dole, anu mbe senol ni mbe kerin fana mba falina. Wotu mwon mwon ke senol ke le rompur ka dobo rosoto. Bari ni lafta le purpo le senol ke le rompur, ye senol ke, ye naflo soto. Wolo ni nindiko, nga masin kendol ta, nga dokuol ke, nga dokuba ke, Mais à l'encontre de ce dossier, on a dit, on l'a dit, on a dit, on a dit, on a dit, on a dit, et ça a dit, on 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 a dit. Tractor n'est pas la jambe, mais il n'y a pas de la jambe, il n'y a pas de la jambe. Il n'y a pas de la jambe, mais il n'y a pas de la jambe, il n'y a pas de la jambe, il n'y a pas de la jambe. Et ça a dit, le tracteur est maintenant, il a dit que les services sont en train de se faire. Il y a des politiques d'âge, ils ne sont pas en train de se faire, ils ne sont pas en train de se faire. Quand on a vu la télévision, on a vu que les gens ne sont pas en train de se faire. Et ça a dit que les Sénégalais sont en train de se faire, ils ne sont pas en train de se faire. Tak nanti lagi nang betraktor supply la, jadi bawa fula lokum fula traktor tu fula bangko beko. Baru ni dekian orang tu, 
Ndiyo
communication, connectivity is everything. We ensure that the links never sleep. Quantities and qualities all in our data service, providing efficient, reliable voice and data service. We believe if you're not up to speed, then you're going backwards. Communications have to flow as fast as the speed of light. Whatever business you're in, having someone who understands your needs is critical. That is why we just don't offer you technology, we offer you solutions. Enjoy Gumsel's internet broadband anytime, anywhere. Your national operator, Gamsel, Yaibarom. Alba, Alba, <laughs> 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 Yeah, I'm going to go to the hospital.